A water park in Kansas City, Kansas will reopen tomorrow, but the giant water slide won't. On Sunday, 10-year-old Caleb Schwab was killed on the slide. Omar Villafranca has been looking into the regulation of amusement parks. <laughs> the 17-story Verruc water slide sends thrill seekers down the chute on a raft at more than 60 miles per hour. But a few park visitors are now raising questions about the ride's Velcro safety harnesses. Paul Oberhauser went on the slide two weeks ago. As soon as I hit the bottom of the first curve, the shoulder strap just kind of busted loose. Oberhauser secured himself by grabbing onto the raft's handles. At the end of the ride, he alerted park staff. And so it sounded like, you know, they were going to do something about it. With no federal inspection laws in place for water parks, and inspection requirements varying by state, Nancy Coles of the child safety group Kids in Danger says this accident highlights the need for stricter national standards. I think as parents go to amusement parks, they're assuming that someone has made sure the rides are safe. The industry group that represents amusement and water parks says their facilities are safe. Of the estimated 335 million people who visit theme parks in the U.S. every year, Roughly 1,150 people were injured on rides in 2014. Yes, Doug yes, Conlin inspected several Schlitterbahn yes, water parks for an insurance that. company. Yep, he retired before the Verruf water slide was built, but maintains that Schlitterbahn was serious about safety. Safety-wise, I would rate them as being very proactive. Uh, they're very strong on emphasizing safety, guest safety, and employee safety. In Kansas, inspections are done by a third party. Scott state officials are now asking to see Schlitterbahn's inspection records. Omar Villafranca, thanks.